All right, you guys. You saw my video yesterday where I got this 900 something pound behemoth off the uh, the truck onto the trailer, then the trailer onto the ground, and you know now I've got it over here uh, with my collection. I don't know that it's going to live here long term, um, but that's where uh, I've got it today. Um, I'll probably store it under under the uh, the cover here. Um, but I don't want to smoke with it under there because it's gonna just leave black stuff everywhere. So anyway, I'm about to season this guy right now. So uh, I haven't really touched it other than I put on the valves over here um, and just clean stuff out. So I, what I've got is I've got four cans of canola oil. This is from uh, Hill Country Fair. That's uh, local Texas. I live in Hill Country. I don't know what they're area is but i assume they're from somewhere around here if i'm in hill country and so are they so uh i'm gonna get to take it i'm gonna take everything out uh i'm gonna spray the inside i'm gonna spray things as they go in and then um we're gonna fire this guy up all right Playing with these grates, these are pretty stout grates. If you notice some smoke, I've got the offset going with, uh, I've got another video going at the same time. I'm not very smart, I'm trying to make two videos at the same time, so this could be a complete disaster. To be honest with you, I think the complete disasters are the funniest videos out there. So I've got the inside pretty pretty soaked. Uh, the bottom is uh, pretty soaked in there. That's what it looks like anyway. You ever wanted to see way inside. And I've got the heat deflector plate out. So I'm gonna start putting stuff back in. I'm gonna go, I haven't I haven't seasoned those yet. Uh, so let's work on that. Don't mind all those empty beer cans. For what it's worth, I'm about empty in the first can and that did the entire inside. I'm looking at a 17 ounce can. I see people saying that, that they're going through four cans, five cans. I'd be surprised if I go, go through two. I don't know if these are bigger. They definitely had smaller cans. So I wonder I wonder if uh, maybe these ones are, I don't know, bigger or, or if I'm not doing a good job or, I don't know, it's dripping. It's everywhere. Okay, let's do these other ones. All right, so I'm out of my first bottle. Here goes the second one. Still got two more, I got plenty of this stuff. blood from the, <laughs> the slippery uh, deflector plate.
there we go there's a little crease that it goes into looks like it might go on top but it, that's where the deflector plate is there's a little crease in there where it goes We're, uh, <laughs> I used two of these 17 ounce bottles and that thing's slick as a noodle. Uh, everything in there has been touched. Uh, I've still got a little bit in this so I'm just going to waste it. So, all right, so we're pretty greased up. Um, man, everything's oily. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. Let's go, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so this is the, uh, the start. I got some fire brick. I did not get the T plates, it's a little bit of apple wood. And I'm going to put lump, pile it all the way up to the top, and then I'll get a chimney going. All right, it's about that time. Uh, I have 151 on my phone. So I've got, obviously everything sprayed down. Uh, I've got some fire brick in there holding in 10 pounds of B&B &B lump. So I've got my chimney about ready. So I've got my... Um, there's that signals going. So I've got uh, four channels. Uh, there's touching the metal. It, we'll, we'll see how, how accurate it is. Uh, I, I, I think the one over, over there is not touching anything, so it should be good. These other ones should be fine too. But, all right, big moment. First time we start it. So it's going pretty good. I'm just going to dump this guy over here. Boy, that's pretty hot. All right. And put this back. And yeah, that's flaming. So I'm just going to shut this. Um, Go ahead and slam that. Slam this guy, make sure the wires are all okay. We got looking good there. Um, guess I could open the water and that. Come on over here, open, how does that work? Watch out. Here we go, we're all the way open. We are at 90 degrees. Well, the the top is at 90 degrees, so this wasn't taking uh, word. So BL is bottom left, which is on. Um, I guess I could have just put them in the right order, huh? <laughs> no, that wasn't very smart of me. Anyway, uh, looks like the bottoms are 78 and 82. The tops are 93 and 94. So um, I'm gonna give this guy a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. 
we're at 153 uh, so yeah here we go by the way this reverse flow is going great I've been trying to target 275 um, these guys are a little hotter these guys are doing just fine can't even see anything coming out but that's the other video <laughs> all right I'll let you guys know how it, let you guys know how it looks I know it's not too exciting but that's the first little bit of smoke on my new large insulated vertical cabinet oh. <laughs> all right pro tip you've got a stopwatch feature on your phone so if you're making videos you can say hey it's been 42 minutes and 54 seconds anyway it's been that long since we uh fired it up uh what's happening here the top right is running a little bit warmer uh, it's similar to the top left the bottom left which is where the fire is is also pretty warm but the heat's rising uh, the bottom right however is way behind that's just because it's furthest away from the fire and it's it's you know down lower than than the top um, so that's what's happening right now it's getting close to where I'm gonna start um, shutting things down I'll probably just go ahead and shut this guy and that's the water um, I think he says to shut that anyway but um, whatever oxygen is oxygen so that guy's still wide open uh, another 20 degrees I'm gonna go for it for uh, 225 to 230 uh, so another I don't know 10 15 degrees probably i'll start i'll, I'll start shooting it down but it's been 44 minutes can you see that in eight ten seconds all righty here we go all right it's been 57 minutes since i poured the fire in here um so the true tell is showing 175 180 um which is significantly lower than what I'm seeing here. Uh, the two, I'm showing two on 203 on either side of it, then 198 down at the bottom by the fire, and 163 the bottom with no fire. So I think that's going to even out a little bit. I'm going to start shutting this down. I'm going to shut this down just a little bit um, for now, and then I'm going to shut this ball valve down to about half right there and uh, we'll see where that takes us and be careful not to, to over overshoot overshooting an offset good overshooting an insulated cabinet not so good okay more to come all right we're uh where are we at one hour and, and 10 minutes since I, I put the charcoals. It was about 75, 78 degrees outside. Uh, I didn't do any preheating or anything. Uh, the Teltrue is showing 200, but I'm getting 220 on either side of it. And uh, I don't know, it's 220 everywhere except for, for the, the bottom right. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put this down I don't want to go too warm. I just want some smoke in here. So that guy's that guy's about two thirds down. They say about an eighth inch. Yeah, I can't quite get my pinky in there. Um, I've got bigger hands than some people, so I'm going to leave it right there, and uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, so what I expect to happen is it to rise maybe a little bit more. Um, maybe go to 240 uh, we'll see if it hits 250 but I expect that 187 to uh, to kind of you know even out uh, so we'll see what happens in a few cool all right now we're 25 in true tell showing 210 um, 
it's gone up about four degrees since last time I looked. So there was about a 35 degree um, difference with the bottom right. So that looks like it's closing in a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, the airflow restriction definitely slowed it. Uh, I can see it on the um, signals um, app. Things are starting to curve off. Since it's still increasing, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this a little bit more. All right, so that's barely open. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like almost like a fingernail. I mean, I'll bet you it's about an eighth of an inch. Okay, that's what people say. That's that's still doing okay. I'm not gonna mess with that. All right, so we'll see. So 229 is is on the top, and then on the bottom I've got the discrepancy 237 versus 204. So um, it's only about a 25 degree difference between between the the bottom and the uh, other ones. I would expect the bottom to be the bottom right to be cooler anyway since the fire is not there but um we're closing the gap we were at 35 i believe but we're at 30 degrees 29 wait 25 degrees 24 difference tomorrow we'll learn our abcs because math is hard okay we'll see what that does so 229.1 and i'm going to keep an eye on it okay two hours in so uh Things have stabilized quite a bit. It was 229.1, it's 227.1. I'm looking at the, the top left, um, this guy. That's what I've been kind of noticing. But um, the left side all seems to be 227. Um, and that's inside with the top right, which is at 224. So they're all real close. Now I've got a little bit, a little bit of a discrepancy here. That's about ten, nine to uh, twelve degrees difference. That's that's negligible at this point, but it was, it was getting there. So um, it actually kind of looks like it's losing a little bit. I'm running lump, so it might just be going through a phase, phrase, whatever. Ricky isn't. Um, so anyway. Yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. Um, you know this guy. They say so. These always seem to run like 10, 15 degrees behind the uh, the digital ones. I've seen that in a bunch of other videos too. Everybody says these are the uh, the tell true are the you know best in the business out there. I, I don't know. Are they? <laughs> um, I, I I don't know honestly. I guess maybe uh, we'll have to test that at some point. But anyway, for for now, we've lost a couple degrees. I mean, it came up to temp. I've been videoing it, so so it came up to temp a while back. But um, I'm just watching it. Uh, anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. The plan here is to let the that that 10 pounds of lump burn through, however long it takes. Um, we'll see. I guess, I guess people say that takes about an, a pound an hour. Um, so maybe it'll go 10 hours. Uh, I'll plug the, uh, the signals into the, into power. So, so I've got that and I'm just gonna keep working on this cook. Look at that thing. I can't even tell which one's which. Perfect temperature. 300. What, 280? That thing's running pretty good, but that's the other video. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Two and a half hours in. Um, it's falling a little bit still. I, I'd like to get it up 10, 15 degrees. So I open the top and uh, I open the valve a little bit. I wonder if it just needs a little bit of oxygen. That's, Let's take a look at the fire, what the hell. Oh, it's looking good in there. Look at that color. Can you see it? Anyway, ah, so much for the cool touch. I guess that makes sense. 
Handy dandy glove. Let's take a quick look. All right, so it's barely, I mean, it's really just burnt the chimney, to be honest with you. That's about what I poured in there. But we're still stacked pretty high, um, nice and compact. I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, looking good. I'm just going to stand here for a second to give it a little bit of oxygen. Um, like I said, I wanted the heat to get up a little bit. I don't want it to go raging out of control or anything. I don't know, what do you guys do? And you want it to uh, go up a little bit, but not go crazy. All right. All right, we'll see what that does. I'm just gonna open this. What the hell? And uh, you know, it's pretty, once it starts increasing, like once it gets to 220, I'll be right on it. Uh, I don't want it to go crazy or anything, but uh, I think I might have shut it down a little bit too much is all, but there it is. Anyway, looking good. Nice day out. I predict I'm about to have a learning experience. So I opened the box just a couple minutes ago. Um, Open this all the way up, and the temperatures still haven't really gone up. However, it's starting to smoke now. So, what I think is happening is that the fire is getting hot because there's a lot more airflow, but it's not translating into here or here quite yet so i think this is one of those learning moments where uh i better shut it down now because i think the damage is done but it just hasn't hasn't reflected yet oh I'll, I'll let you know what happens all right it's been three hours and this some biscuit is seasoned. We did it. All right, real quick. This thing's like driving a boat or maybe an airplane. So I, I closed everything down pretty good again. Uh, you can see that. So I think that's probably about where, pretty close, but I think that's probably where it should be. So we're showing 215 there. So, um, I can tell it's still on the rise because the uh, the two bottom, the ones on the left, the bottom left and bottom right, have a 20 degree difference, 19, 18. Um, so that tells me that it's pumping heat still, right? So so the the tops are about similar, but anyway, I'm not real worried about that. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. I've got a Got another plan too, so let's take a quick peek. See, I'm back. There's some smoke in there. All right, so having it open is going to bring the temperature up a little bit. This has got some good color. Yeah. Not bad. So, a lot of people have dripping issues here. I did as well, just from the seasoning. Um, I expect you could see the line of the seasoning right there. Um, that's to be expected. Uh, it looks pretty good. So that one's touching the metal. I wonder if that's had 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 some effect on, on why uh, the temperature was different on that one. We'll do some other ones. Wow, the water fan is like full of canola oil. Okay, well, now that it's up to temperature and doing all kinds of good stuff, I've been running this guy, and I've been running this guy as well. Um, this guy's doing great. However, I'm getting tired of sitting out here. It's been a while. So, I'm going to actually put this meat 
on this cooker since uh, this one's ready to roll. So we'll, we'll actually do, I guess, half a cook. How's that work? One sec, I'll be right back. That's how this is looking. I'll get a close up on it. Okay. Now, I'll let this guy burn himself up. And uh, I'll let this guy do his job. Now I'm free, I could go do whatever the heck I want. Look at that, 199. Oh, I said I was gonna give you guys a flyover here. Let's do that. So, it's recovering. Um, what do I do this? I gotta get used to working with this thing. So, you can see that's doing pretty good. It's only probing about 136. So, you know, I, I was I was going to wrap it. I wonder if I might just let it go in the in there since there's a lot of moisture that builds up in this uh, insulated cabinet. I think I might just let it go. Anyway, uh, all right. So that's the end of the offset video, I suppose, and uh, the beginning of a merge between the two videos, and, and I'll show you what the meat turns out like, and um, we'll just sit here and watch it. Okay, take care. It's dark out. What are you wearing? <laughs> All right, offset stuff going down. Anyway, we're over here, and you can't see any of this stuff because it's dark out so uh, I pulled the uh, chuck roast off a little bit so that's where we're at right now if you can see that so the pits doing about 242 242.5 the uh, pork shoulder is doing 158.5 and that's cool so things are looking good however there's a lot of people that say what you know, this is kind of warm on this side. The stainless is actually uh, down here. Down here, it's a little warm. But, you know, interesting. So, I'm actually, ref hold on. Here is a thermal camera. Thermal imaging. Can you see that? Anyway, you can see the crease in the door. Um, that says 104. Whoa, 150. Anyway, so it's hot right there. Um, there's a little bit of heat escaping from from the will. <laughs> and the, uh, uh, the thermometer is about 177. The rest of the door is 166. You can see that. So let's go around to the side. Okay, hold on. All right, so. What am I looking at here? So that's the trees up there. So that's the cabinet. So it's about 100 degrees on the side. Um, 108 down, down the... Uh, down the side of that so these are the valves you can see the valves have got a little bit of heat even the closed one all right but the side of the cabinet well the hottest part of the cabinet is 100 degrees okay so let's go around to the back so around at the back we're looking at 75 degrees look at that there's a couple of spots there's something in there I don't know what what's going on there. So that's eight, 84, 82, but the rest is like 75. Okay, so let's go to the other side. All right, so this side looks to be 77, 79, so it's pretty cool to the touch, right? 
But you can see there's stuff in there. Whoa. Sorry, a big old moth jumped on me. God bless Texas. Anyway, so you can see by the door it's getting warm. Let's do one more walkthrough. Okay. Wow, that is so weird. Stainless. Stainless actually gives a reflection. That is. That is crazy. Uh, anyway, 68 on the door. 108, 140, 150. And then, and then we're back to 66. And then we're good there. Wow, it's giving reflection of the trees and everything. Wow, thermal imaging doesn't usually do that. And then one more time. The side here is about 100 degrees. That's and the ports, the ports are are a little warm too. Um, but something's inside there. You can tell. So what I think is happening right here, that's the port for the water fill. One more walk around. We're almost there. We're almost there. The back of this is 75. There's a couple spots, we saw them. Those are 77. That corner is, real, is looks real hot it's only 80 degrees okay and one last time 75 degrees so there's another dimple there but so you can see around the door around the ports it's it's getting a little warm um right there but like for all intents and purposes, this is like very touchable. I mean, we're talking like a hundred degrees. This is this is the hot spot at 102. All right, let's see what the offset looks like. What's the offset doing? All right, cold there, but that's because we're running reverse flow. Look at that. 167. I, 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 I haven't fed this thing for a few hours, but that's fun to look at. Anyway, thought you might enjoy a thermal camera, camera tour. So this thing's very touchable. Um, you can't see me because the light's behind me. So I'm sticking my tongue out at you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so next morning. So uh, I cooked for probably about 10 hours. I think I started around two o'clock yesterday and uh, we held about 240, 260, somewhere around there uh, the entire time. I pulled that pork, well, after I seasoned it, I put the meat in it and then I pulled that pork shoulder about 2 a.m. I think. Um, and it was still running fine. Uh, I was tired and I went to bed. So I looked at the my signals, uh, thermopin signals and after I pulled the pork but it never really gained temperature back and I was thinking that was you know probably 12 hours on a 10 pound bag of charcoal that seems pretty good but then I came out here and looked at it and the door was ajar <laughs> so it was gonna keep going uh, so that's my mistake I uh, have to clean in here a little bit but you can see it's got the nice patina and all that kind of stuff um, you know, got a little you know, grilling in, grilling, not grilling, uh, you know, some pork butt action. Let's see what the firebox looks like. So actually this firebox, it burnt everything. You can see it burnt every single thing in there. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, cool. And it is actually still warm to the touch. Uh, it is by no means hot, but it is it's way different than it is out here. Like I can tell there was fire in here. So there you have it. Um, yeah, minimum 12 hours, huh? On a 10 pound bag of charcoal. 
kind of kicking myself that I left that door open. I was really tired, and uh, you know, I had been cooking for a while. It took took me a little bit to get a little bit longer than it should have to get started on the uh, on the offset. Uh, that was m me learning th this offset. Um, but yeah, minimum 12 hours on a 10 pound bag of charcoal, crazy. All right, let me go pull these meats and uh, see you in there. Hi Odin, say hi. <laughs>